Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss about uh, HAB rule and uh, we will also take an example uh, say of AND gate to implement this uh, and to solve specific problems. So HAB rule was basically introduced by Donald HAB. Uh, he has written a book, uh, The Organization of Behavior in 1949 and he explained that it is a kind of feed forward or unsupervised learning. Basically what happened in feed uh, in HAB rule is uh, it adjusts the weights and through adjusting the weight it allows the network to learn some new rules, right. So basic concept here is how we can adjust the rules. So for that he has been given a formula and that formula is wi new is equal to wi old plus xiy. What wi new is? i is basically the vectors, the specific vector value. So any new value for any specific element we have to get the old value of that one plus we are uh, adding it with the multiplication of input, ve input vector value with the target value or the output value, right. So this x, this input will have a vector of some, um, will be a vector so it will have some input values with that one and all those input values will be multiplied with the output values, the desired values that we are wishing to have. And after getting the multiplication of them, we are going to add them with the old weights, right? We will see the example of that one and then, uh, then we will have a clear idea of that, how we are getting these old values, old weights and uh, input values and so on, right? So what is the learning rule algorithm? The algorithm says, first of all, we have to set all the weights uh, to zero, right? From say i equals to one to n, if we have multiple inputs, then all weights for them will have zero values and obviously the bias will also set to zero. So initial in a very first step what you will do, you will set all the weights. So you are having three inputs say x1, x2, x3, then all weights for them any w1, w2, w3, they will set to zero as well as the bias value will also be zero. In second step for each input vector means uh, suppose you are having three input vectors, right? Uh, and uh, you will have a specific target output pair as well. For all input vectors, you will have one target because that is what you are expecting to have, right? So for each input vector, the target output pair, you will have to repeat following steps. First of all, you will set activations for input units with the input vector xi equals to si, okay? You will have to create an input vector for that one and you will set the value of uh, say x1 to s1 x2 to s2 and so on from 1 to 1 n. Secondly, you will uh, set the corresponding output value to the output neuron, say y is equals to t uh, that we will see later on how we are setting that step by step. And then we will update uh, the weight and bias uh, by applying the HEB rule that we haven't seen earlier. Okay, so this is the rule that we will, we are going to apply later on. Let's see an implementation of AND gate. We are using bipolar data because HEB rule basically work good with bipolar data. There are some restrictions with binary data. That's why we are using bipolar data here. You all uh, have been worked with AND gate uh, earlier. You all know uh, for binary data, this uh, all this minus one will be represented with zero and one is obviously as one. So uh, in general format, it will be zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. And bias obviously will have only positive one value. And uh, then what you get 0, 0, you will get 0, 0 and 1, you will get 0, 1 and 0, you will get 0 and 1 and 1, you will get 1. Instead of 0, we are using minus 1 and it will work same as uh, with 0. So minus 1, minus 1 will be minus 1, minus 1, 1 will be minus 1, 1 minus 1 will be minus 1 and 1, 1 will be 1. So we are having these different input vectors. This will be x1, x2 and b and this will be y. So we are going the same thing. How we are going to ch change the weight? We will take the old weight, we will set some old weight and then we will uh, multiply uh, these input values with the output values. That is minus 1 with minus 1, minus 1 with minus 1 and 1 with 1 and then we will get uh, the some value, uh, some weights and that we will add with the previous weights, right? And then we will get a new weight as per the formula, right? Let's see how. <clears throat> Step 1, we will set the weight in bias to 0. So W will be 0, 0, 0 and B will be 0. This T is represent a transpose of that one, of the vector. In second step, what we are doing, set input vector Xi to Si for I equal to 1 to 4. As you can see, we are having the four uh, rows here. So for all four, but we will have X1 will be minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Okay. We are getting it from here. 
minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, x2 will be minus 1, 1, 1, x3 will be 1, minus 1, 1, and x4 will be 1, 1, 1. So these are the different vectors that we are setting in step 2. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Then in step 3, output value is set to y equal to t. y equal to t means uh, y will have minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and 1. This will be the value of y. Right. Step 4, modify weights using Hebbian rule. And the weight formula is w new is equal to w old plus x1 y1. Instead of x i y, we are having x1 y. And uh, what it will do? w old, initially we have set it to 0. So, 0, 0, 0 transpose plus x1 is, get it from here, minus 1, minus 1, 1. So, it will be minus 1, minus 1, 1. And then we will multiply it with y. And y as we have seen initially is minus 1. Second case, it will be minus 1. Third case, it will be minus 1. Fourth case, it will be 1. So, four times we are repeating this loop and we are doing the same task again and again. So, in very first case, initial weight are 0. Um, our input values are minus 1, minus 1, 1. And our output value is minus 1. We are multiplying them with each other. So, minus 1 into minus 1, you know it is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 0 is, oh sorry, minus 1 minus 1 is plus 1. Plus 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1. So, this is our new weight for very first step. So, what we get? New weight 1, 1, minus 1. Now, as we know that for very next iteration, this weight that we have generated here will used here. Okay, This will be the old weight for second iteration now. So, now this new weight is old for second iteration. So, it will be 1, 1, minus 1, that is from here. And then in second step, we have minus 1, 1, 1, that is the input vector. And output is minus 1. Again, minus 1 will be multiplied with minus 1. You will get 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Minus 1, 1, minus 1. Minus 1, plus 1, 0. 1, minus 1. Uh, sorry, minus 1, 1, minus 1. Minus 1, plus minus 1, minus 2. So, again, the new weight for second iteration will be 2, 0, minus 2. And this new weight will become old weight for third iteration. So, we will put it here, 2, 0, minus 2. And our third value is 1, minus 1, and 1 input value, 1, minus 1, 1. And our output value is minus 1. We will multiply them with each other, minus 1 into 1, minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Then minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. 1 into 0, oh, sorry, 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 1, 1, minus 1, plus, minus 2, minus 3. So, now the current weight, the new weight is 1, 1, minus 3. And that will become old weight for fourth iteration. 1, 1, minus 3 will be now the old weight. Plus, last value is 1, 1, 1. And our target output value is 1. Then 1 plus 1 into 1, 1, plus 1, 2. 1 into 1, 1, plus 1, 2. 1 into 1, 1, plus, minus 3, minus 2. So, 2, 2, minus 2 will be the final weight matrix. We have to remember this. This is our final weight matrix. And according to this, we are going to generate our, we are going to create our network in which x value is 2, y value is 2, and bias value is minus 2. Right? Bias is minus 2 here, x and y are 2 here. So, the network will be like this. Sorry, it's not y, it's x1, x2. So, x1 will be 2, x2 will be 2, and bias value will be minus 2. And as per we know that how we create a neural network, we have input and a directed uh, line with that one that is connected to the output. So, we are getting this. We have to specify the current weight over here and that will be the weight that will be associated with this line. So, guys, this is enough for this one. Uh, you will have an, uh, you can just do the same exercise with OR gate also so that you could understand if you are getting it or not. For OR, OR gate, all the outputs will be 2, 2, 2 and 2. Just check it out. Just try the same concept with OR gate and see if you are getting the same answer or not. So, in case of OR, bias will be 2 and rest 2 will be 2 as it is. So, your output will be 2, 2, 2. Just check it. Go for it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.